Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to do another quick demo here. Uh, this one is about two moves, which are actually two EQ moves uh, to better sounding vocals um, for bedroom producers uh, and like demo vocals and that kind of stuff. So the two EQ moves I'm talking about are uh, these two moves. The first one is cutting uh, 400 hertz and the second one is cutting 1000 hertz or one kilohertz. Um, let me just reset this back to default quickly. So the reason you want to pull these two frequencies out of your vocal is because the natural human vocal has got uh, a few bad characteristics which are emphasized by these two frequencies. So 400 hertz emphasizes a boxiness, um, which is pretty much as it says, it sounds like someone's uh, singing into a, uh, a cardboard box. And then one kilohertz is the nasal frequency, which sounds like someone's singing with uh, a block nose or pinching their nose. Um, and these are pretty undesirable, uh, unnatural. They're natural to our ear, but to hear them on a record is unnatural. So um, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna play this little demo uh, vocal that I've got here with this plugin on it. This is just a normal channel EQ plugin. Uh, it can be found in any DAW for free. Um, and if not, for some reason, I'm sure there's a free one uh, out there. It's just a basic parametric um, EQ. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna uh, boost up 400 hertz to show what it sounds like and boost up um, 1000 hertz to show what it sounds like. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's climb on up to the rooftops. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's climb on up to the rooftops. Hold your head. Okay, so as you can hear, those are um, some pretty undesirable frequencies uh, when they are boosted. So obviously if we want to get rid of those artifacts in our vocal, what we need to do is we need to cut those frequencies. So uh, the way I like to do this is traditionally I will boost a frequency and look, it's not going to be 400 hertz and 1000 hertz every time. These are just pretty much basic guidelines uh, to get started. You need to search around for, because everyone's vo voice is different, every microphone is different. You need to search around for uh, where that characteristic, characteristic is in that kind of range. But I like to just start uh, at 1k and at 400 because um, you know, nine times out of 10, it's around that area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the frequency till I kind of found where I don't like the artifact and then I'm gonna pull it down by the same amount that I boosted it by. So if you boost it here by like 10 dB, 15 dB or whatever, you're gonna pull it up by that that same amount to get rid of that artifact. But one word of warning is that um, I wouldn't be pulling like anything out more than a maximum eight dB. Um, I like to kind of restrict myself to around about 5 dB, which is what I'm going to do in this example. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of listen for the 400 range artifact, and then I'm going to listen for the 1000 hertz artifact. I'm going to boost them and pull them out, and then we can listen to the difference. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's climb on up to the rooftops. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's climb on up to the rooftops. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's climb on up. Okay, and just like that, you can hear that the vocal immediately cleans up uh, a whole bunch um, and it sounds just a little bit more professional and just a little bit uh, cleaner. So um, let's flip through and turn the plugin on and off. One thing you will hear is that it gets a bit quieter um, because we're actually pulling out gain in the form of a frequency out of this vocal. So overall the vocal is gonna get quieter, but that's not a problem because it can be turned up again just using the channel fader. So uh, don't worry too much about the volume changes. Listen just for those characteristic changes. So I'm gonna start the plugin off. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's come on up to the rooftops. And now I'm gonna put the plugin on. Hold your head up, never back down. Let's come on up to the rooftops. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Those are two very simple, very quick moves that you can do uh, to your vocals at home to make them sound better. And this applies, obviously, to if you are doing a demo vocal for a track or if you are doing a vocal for a video or whatever. Um, cut these two frequencies, not by this exact amount and this exact frequency. That's not what the video is about. It's about finding, okay, cool, 400 hertz and its range all the way down from like 300 to 500 is the boxiness frequency and you know 1000 hertz all the way down to like 800 and up to 
maybe even as high as 2k is going to be your nasal characteristic so think of it in that way don't think of it too much as frequency and like numbers think of it more as like characteristics and if you listen to a vocal and you go oh you know what this is sounding a bit boxy um or you know this is sounding a little bit nasally maybe you had a bit of a blocked nose that day or whatever uh, you can fix that uh, to a point with these frequencies cool so um thanks for watching uh, as always please head over to the instagram page and uh, like and comment on this video if you found it helpful uh, dm me for any further questions about this kind of stuff um, and i look forward to seeing you guys next time